late Shari Lewis was one of the world's most celebrated children's entertainers, making the planet smile alongside her trusty and cheeky sidekick, Lamb Chop. She brought the art of ventriloquism into the mainstream, a legacy that continues to thrive thanks to her family. This is a song that does it. It was 1956 when Lamb Chop made her TV debut alongside the legendary Shari Lewis. Lamb Chop, I'm posing. I know you're posing. You don't have to pose. Why not? Because these are moving pictures. Moving pictures? Uh-huh. Fast becoming one of the most famous characters on the planet, the pair brought music, laughter and education to generations of fans for more than 40 years. And what is so funny? What is so funny is that I don't support you, you support me. These people did not come here to see you, they came to see me, right? Right? Tell her, tell her! Even appearing on hit shows like Sesame Street and The Nanny. Oh, hello, Miss Chop. I'm Fran Fine, and I must tell you that I have been a fan of yours ever since I was a little girl. Ever since you were... <laughs> <laughs> Working alongside Shari and winning an Emmy together was daughter Mallory, who continues to bring Lamb Chop's unique sense of humour to a whole new fan base. Oh, wow, so much beautiful old vision. Mallory Lewis and Lamb Chop join us live oh from Oh, my God, LA. it's Lamb Chop. Hello, hello, Kylie. And that. Oh, <laughs> Lamb Chop, you're just beautiful. Welcome to the show. I, I believe, Lamb Chop, your last visit to Australia was back in the 60s with Shari. Uh, what do you yeah, remember about great country? It was a long, country? long time ago, but I loved it. And I loved Australia and I loved New Zealand because there were so many of my family there. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> what, what did you love about, what else did you love about your visit, Lamb Chop? I like the Sydney Opera House and the people who are really nice and good looking. <laughs> oh, I'll second that. Oh, hi, Mallory. Nice to be introduced <laughs> to you as well. You have the same passion for performing and spreading joy as your mum did. When did you I know do. that you wanted to follow in her footsteps? You know, I was my mum's head writer and I was her producer. I had no desire to be an entertainer because. As a producer, all you really want is a brilliant star. Mm. And I had a brilliant star. And then when mom passed so suddenly, I started getting letters saying, is Lamb Chop dead too? And I couldn't let that be a yes. Oh. So I said, slap on the makeup, <laughs> sister, and let's get out there. <laughs> <laughs> and people are absolutely around the world, Lamb Chop, in awe of you. You've been on some of the world's most popular shows and stages. Do I, what is it like to be so famous? <laughs> it's amazing. I have all sorts of pretty outfits that I can wear on the red carpet. But the bestest part is I make people happy. Mm. Yeah. That's, that's what we get in our comments more than anything else is either I had a terrible childhood and your mom made me happy then and Lamb Chop still makes me happy or... I had a wonderful childhood, and your mom brightened it. Um, a lot nowadays I'm getting, the world is a dark and scary place, but not on your channel. Yeah. And that, I think, is really important. So back in your Mother's Day, Mallory, there would have been the stage, obviously, and television, but now there is social media as well. So for both you, Mallory, and Lamb Shop, I mean, having this whole online world too means you can reach I'm, so many more I'm people. I'm a ticky-tocky star. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and Insta. you are. I do Insta. <laughs> <laughs> you are a TikTok and Insta star, and people look right across social media love you, Lamb Chop. What do you think it is about you that people love so much? I think it's because I'm nice and I'm funny, and I think I make people remember when they were little before, before they got scared. Mm. And I think that. You know, let's face it, we all go on our socials first thing in the morning while we're sitting down taking care of business with a cup of coffee. And you don't want to see necessarily doom and gloom. Um, you want to see someone who makes you smile. And I make people smile. 
You sure yes. do. And I've got to say, Lamb Chop, I think on that ticky tocky thing, you've been looking at all the uh, beauty hints mm. because, oh my <laughs> goodness, you look as fresh now as you did back in 1956. Oh, thank you. Just like most of the ladies in Hollywood, I have a really good seamstress. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a, a, yes. Stitch, a stitch or two uh, here and there does a help, doesn't it? A stitch or two here and there, a lady has the right. You know, as Dorothy says, we are darned if we do and we are darned if we don't. And because I'm made of wool, I just get darn. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. On that note, that's a beautiful Good place one. to end. Um, it is so delightful to see you again in the flesh, both of you. Mallory, lovely to meet you. And Lamb Chop. It is lovely to meet you too. And I met David also and I kissed him. <laughs> did you? She did. Oh, oh David, David Woywood. David Woywood, our wow. reporter who's based in that same studio. Wow, he's so, he's so lucky. We'll be hearing about that for years to come, I'm sure. You know sure. what? <laughs> we didn't know that lamb chop because David Woywood never kisses and tells. No, so no, because he's a gentle man. Yes. <laughs> yes, he's been outed. Uh, Mallory, lamb chop, so great to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Goodbye, That's everyone. A, bye, Mallory.